Believe it or not, life has cheat codes. What people have been recently talking about is life like a video game, build your character, build your skills. And as more and more time goes on in my life, I start to realize there are cheat codes to success. There might be a left trigger, right trigger, up, down, left, right, two, triangle, square. Me personally, growing up, I never thought that in life there were these cheat codes because obviously it's just a video game. But people are starting to say, hey, build your character. Life is like a video game. Build your skills, do your quality habits. And you know what? That makes sense. But then I started to think, there has to be real life cheat codes. And I went out and looked for them. One of the cheat codes I realized that actually exists in life is the 10,000 hour rule. The 10,000 hour rule was basically promoted and really pushed by Malcolm Gladwell in his book, Outliers. And within this book, it talks about when you get 10,000 hours in any skill or trait or whatever it is, you'll become an expert at it. Someone who's mastered their craft. And going off of this, sometimes you see it in different pop culture and the media. And an athlete I want to really promote here and talk about that really lived up to this was Kobe Bryant. Everyone knows the Mamba mentality. There are so many interviews where Kobe talked about how many more hours he worked than his opponents. He'd wake up at three, work out from four to five, get that nice stretch in gym. Then he'd go back, eat breakfast, stretch, routine, then go back an extra hour, boom. Then all those extra hours all the way until practice. And then he'd practice with the team. Then after practice and before practice, he'd be there early and last one to leave. Athletes like Cristiano Ronaldo would be the first people to show up to practice and the last to leave. There were so many athletes and where they play with these athletes and say, I want to show up 30 minutes early, an hour early to impress the coach on my first day. And he was already training. He was already there practicing free kicks. He's already there and getting a thousand makes before the game starts. What? That makes no sense to the average individual. But that's what it takes. It takes extra hours because in that week, he was getting hours and hours more practice than his opponents. And these were NBA level opponents. And then take that over a course of a year, two years, three years. He has just 10,000 hours extra over them, over his opponents, over the people he was going up against. So it goes to show that a cheat code in life is to just outwork your opponent. And he wasn't just, you know, casually putting up a thousand shots. He was doing game speed, 100% level intensity. So it goes to show that a cheat code in life is just do the work. Obviously, it's not a shortcut or a cheat code in that sense, but it's a cheat code in understanding if I put in the hours, I put in the grind, I just outworked everyone around me for this set skill, I will become a master. And it should be motivating as well, because if you do 10,000 hours, right? Realistically speaking, you spend just eight hours a day doing it for what, five days out of the week. It'll take you maybe six, seven years to do it. We have that time, six, seven years. That makes sense as to why athletes who start playing very competitive sports by the time they're 10, you know, by the time they're 18, they're able to go division one, division two, II, division three. They put in those 10,000 hours. So again, that is the number one cheat code, first and foremost, in getting you to become successful in life. There may be some critiques here where someone can say, hey, but I'm just not as talented. But again, there have been so many studies that show that people who are just talented, so gifted naturally comes easy to them. That's great and all, but if they don't work hard, then it doesn't matter. If you are prepared, you do the work, you're gonna be prepared and be able to succeed at the highest level because you put in your hours, you put in the time. A way to do this is again, setting smart goals. Make sure you have a plan, a regime. You know exactly the routine you're gonna go in with. You go in, you know you're gonna make a thousand shots. You're gonna do right hand, left hand. You know every little intricate part of the journey of what you're gonna do to succeed. And this can be done in any field, in any category, in anything you want to do out of life. Think about what you want to do. And when you think about what you want to do, you're like, okay, this is what I want to do. I have the idea of the end goal, right? And from the end goal, work backwards. And then you'll see what it takes to become the thing or the person you want to be at the end goal. And once you have all these steps laid out, you know how to attack. Make sure you have a plan. Because again, a famous quote that I said all the time is an idiot with a plan is better than a genius with no plan. So make sure that you use your intelligence, you use your abilities, make the plan, and then watch how you will end up succeeding. And again, to get this practice, to get these 10,000 hours in, make sure you divide it up into small chunks. You'll become a master overnight. There's only 24 hours a day. And again, you're not gonna be able to spend all 24 hours doing this one thing. So again, understand that it's gonna take time. Be there for the long run. It's consistency, consistency, consistency. That is what the Mamba mentality is. It's to be able to be working hard and working your tail off consistently. Again, that's the grind. That's what takes you to the next level not just innate talent. So understand that, break it down into these small achievable goals where one by one, you'll be able to get to the next level in your life. Again, I believe in you. People have always said hard work pays off, hard work pays off, hard work pays off. But until you see it in your life, you never really understand what it really means. 
And when you take the time to really grind at something and work so hard at something and then eventually see little bits of success or you're like, wow, it finally worked out. I did it, I did it. Celebrate that achievement. Understand that each little step you take, celebrate it, then humble yourself and then keep going because there's always something better you can do. There's always a next level you can tap into. And again, focus on this rule. Focus on this 10,000 hour rule because again, it is one of the most effective cheat codes to succeeding in life. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Be sure to smash that like button, comment section down below of times or things that you've put in 10,000 hours for. And if not, really think about it. Have you put in your 10,000 hours? If there's anything else you guys want me to talk about to again, motivate you guys or really kind of be there and kind of talk about what it really takes to be successful, let me know. I would love to hear what you guys think and what your opinions are. So again, thank you guys again for supporting. I really do appreciate the love and I'll see you guys next time. See you later.